Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. It's been a while since my last video, so I have to do a lot of work at my house. So I had less time to make some videos. Now I'm back and here's the next video. In this episode we take a look at this nice Aldi C64. It's a donation of my colleague. Um, he donated some more stuff, for example, some joysticks, some books, tapes, and so on. So, um, this I will show you in a future episode. The C64 is a little bit yellowed, it has this sticky and very dirty keyboard, and the working state is untested. So, let's see if this thing works. Do some tests and make this C64 nice again. So enough talk, let's start it. And here we have this nice C64. And you see some keys stick together. One you can't push and the other ones a little bit sticky, uh, and otherwise it's in a good conditions. All labels, no printing on the back side. So let's open it up, take a look inside. And see what we have. And it's all good. We make a test. And you see it's a big label and has a serial number from California and it's made in USA. Yeah, it's cracking a little bit, but all of this plastic parts are in good shape. Well, this is looking nice. And you see it's not that bad from yellowing. When we look inside, there we have the original cut of the case and the outside. It's a little bit yellowed, but it's almost dirty. The yellowing is on the keys, on the keycaps. Put this on the side. Here we have this paper shielding. And here we have the main board. It's a 250-469 board and it's dusty. But it's looking it's looking good. No caps apology, no discolored components. And here we have the CPU, it's an 8500. The C chip and the VIC chip. So they are looking good. So let's do some tests. So all is hooked up. I uh, don't reassemble the keyboard. So let's see if we have a nice startup. Then we put test harness on and make some tests. And you see, it's working. Nice. Now we put 
test harness on. Control port one, control port two, keyboard. So, test harness is hooked up, and now let's see if all components are working. It's a nice, nice, fast startup. So let's take a while, the RAM is okay. Second RAM okay, PLA okay. Color RAM okay, all ports okay, ooh. Yeah, I forgot the... Plug for the serial port. Oh. Now it's complete. Test again. If you don't have this loop back, you get a fault. Oh, RAM okay, PLA okay, color RAM okay. Character RAM okay. Cassette, keyboard, control, port, zero port, all is good. And this nice and loud sound. Clear and loud. That's good. So, nice, put back on the bench, and first we start with the main PCB and the lower part of this But this should be all screws. No, one more, one more. Oh, now we can lift ah. We have one screw put in together that here holds this this part. So we can put this shielding out. Put it away, we don't need. You see the underside the front part of the underside and the side uh, yellowed. Rust only dirty, but not that much. Now we take a look on the PCB. That's all good.
we only have to move some some dust so now we can put this on the side oh there are there some botch wires nice Okay, so let's put this on the side. Zoom a little bit out. And now comes the keyboard. First, we use this tool, a kicker puller. Very easy to use, very cheap, and nice. So let's start. You have springs under this, under this keycap, and this. Take care. We need this later for reassemble. And you see a lot of gunk. Looks like someone spilled. Cola or some other sugar lemonade over it. I think it's better we take this keyboard out before we go away along this keyboard. Keyboard is out. We have the case. No broken stand now, so this looks not so quite well. The others are good. Put this on the side. And let's continue with this keyboard. So, all keycaps are removed. Now we take some window cleaner. 
and uh, pepper towel and try to clean this. And you see a lot of dirt. A lot of dirt coming from this keyboard. Yeah. For the harder residue, I use this tool and scraping it away. So, see a lot of dirt too. The keyboard is now clean. No key is sticking anymore. Oh, there's a little bit of dust. So now we can put this on the side and let them dry. We take the parts of the shell and the keycaps and soak them in some soapy water. So now we are here in my bathroom and now we take some. Cleaner on it. And we fill this up with water. Now we let it sit and then we clean this up and then we have a clean shell. So now we give them a good wipe and scrub with a sponge and a little brush. Then let them dry. 
the uppercase says no yellowing. So we don't need any retro body in this. The lowercase part you see it on the sides and a little bit on the bottom. And we can make a light retro brighting here. And now we can make a bigger bucket. Now no yellowing. So we don't need this. Almost dirty. So now all is clean. Oh, now we're on focus again. All is clean. Let's let them dry. And then we make a light retro brighting on the lower case part. So here we back again. This discoloration we can take away. For this I use this solution of uh, cream peroxide. It's for hair drying and some water. I use a painter's brush. Paint it on. Now I put it in the sun. And if this solution dries, I put another layer on it and so on, so on. And you can stop if this discoloration is gone. So everything is clean and dry and now we start reassembling. First we put the main board in the lower case. So, the main board is in place, and now let's reassemble the keyboard. After I cleaned this, I realized that some of the keys are sticky, and the case from the keyboard was clean. So um, the uh, coke flows between the stems and the case. And so I um, disassembled the whole keyboard, cleaned them, cleaned every stem and put all together. And now the sticky thing is gone. And to put the, the uh, keycaps on, I use one of my other C64. So, and don't forget the springs.
So one spring is missing and so I have to look. So I found the missing spring. It was rolling under my desk. So that we can put this thing together. So the last key is on the keyboard. And the type is good, it's clean, non sticky. Non sticky keys. And so we can put this cleaning up. And put this in the upper case. Carefully put the screws in, and for everyone that doesn't know how to put the screws in the old threads, set the screw on, turn left, you hear A very slight click and then you can screw them down otherwise you break the post or you make a new thread and break then the post so be very carefully the plastic on your C64 can be better. That's not the right. So it's all put together. And now we can put the uppercase onto the lowercase and finish the cleaning. So, first put the LED here. The keyboard connector is here. So. Cracking noises are from the hinges. They are very, very tight on this C64. So, all put together, and now it's time for test, and then the cleaning of this C64, this Aldi C64, is finished. So, and now let's try this one. Let's try the C64, if it's still running. Yeah, it's working. So then we put the test harness on this C64 and then let's make a diagnostic.
ação. So let the keyboard connector plugged in. So I don't want to disassemble the C64 again. Now we go over to the screen. And then we put this is sixty four on. It should still a moment and then this starts and it don't. So let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Why the diagnostic card doesn't start? The video connector was not correctly inside. So, then start again. And here we have diagnostic. It should be a fault on the keyboard Why the, because the keyboard connector is not plugged incorrectly. So we will see. Keyboard open, zero port bad. Oh, I forgot the zero dongle. So let's try again. But it should work worked correctly. So New turn with serial dongle plugged in. And now it should be okay. The only thing it should report is an open keyboard. Yeah, and also the sound is good and quite loud. You see, it worked. And now. Now let's put the, my SD to IC card in. Here we have the serial cable. So you can plug this in or 
state loose and use a power connector. So the SC to IC is uh, in non working condition. I don't know why. But to finish the video, we try this one. This is Radar Redress. It's a game that came out with the VIC 2. And there are always, uh, there are also um, a module for a cartridge for VC64. So try out. And if you see, So you see, it worked, it worked very fine, so the C64 is official, finished. So this is for this episode, the Aldi C64 is clean and working nicely. So I have to check my SD to IC and make them working again. There's some issues and it stopped working, if you see in the video. If you like the video, hit the like button and under this video. And you want more videos and support the channels, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That's helped me a lot. So I thank you all for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.